I hope you're having a good time. Um, yes, Ivy, we are. This party is beautiful. And we're happy to be here to honor Teresa and Ethan. Yes. Teresa is happy. We're happy for her. Look at her, Sam. Of course she's happy. And Pilar, your daughter is absolutely radiant with Ethan. Yes, they seem to be very much in love. Mm -hmm. I think young love is the most perfect. You know, it is, it's just so, so special. The most special love you'll ever have. It's everlasting. Oh, I disagree. When a person is young, they may fall in love with the wrong person. It's not until they're older and find love with the right person that they realize that whatever they had before wasn't love at all. Pilar, you must be happy for Teresa. Yes, this is everything she's ever dreamed of. You know, it's almost like a fairy tale, really. A young girl of modest means meets and falls in love with Prince Charming. I suppose it could go the other way around. A poor young boy could meet a wealthy princess who lives up on the hill. <laughs> of course, it's not about money. I mean, I've never seen money by happiness. It's what's in their hearts that really matters. If two people really love each other, there's nothing that could ever take them apart. Well, sometimes it's not that easy, Grace. Sometimes there are powerful forces that keep two people in love apart. Ivy, do you really believe that there are forces that can keep two people apart no matter how much they're in love? Yes, I do, Grace. I knew a girl in school. She came from a very wealthy family. And she fell in love with a boy from town. The boy had no money to speak of. But that didn't matter to my friend. She loved him with all her heart. And he felt the same way about her. They were meant to be together. Did they marry? <laughs> no. They couldn't even be seen in public together. Still, they managed to find ways to be together. They left love notes hidden, each telling the other one where and when to meet, so they could be alone in their special places. They hid in the sand dunes on the beach. And they danced under the stars. Anywhere they were alone just became their special place. They cried together because they were so passionately in love and neither one of them had ever known a love like that before. And the girl? Well, she's never known a love like that since. How oh, sad. The girl's father, well, he had other plans for her. He tricked her into marrying a man she didn't love. But that's terrible. Mm. Yes, it was. The, whatever happened to them? As I said, she was tricked into marrying someone else, but she never stopped loving the boy. Still, Grace, you can see that sometimes love isn't enough. That is one of the most tragic stories I've ever heard. <clears throat> yes, it is sad, but uh, time moves on. You know, I feel bad for the girl, but I have to say, I, I can't relate. I mean, if I had loved a boy that much, there is nothing that would ever separate us. I mean, whatever the girl felt for that boy, it wasn't true love. Don't you agree? I mean, if the girl had truly loved the boy, her father never could have tricked her. She would have stayed true to her heart, true to the boy. I agree. The girl couldn't have loved the boy, or she never would have left him. Whatever she felt wasn't love. Not true love. No, I agree. I mean, I think the girl took the easy way out. She let her father dictate her life. 
No, it wasn't like that at all. I loved him. I did love him. <laughs>